I think for me what's really important is that we do educate ourselves, and I think there's a really important message there that actually information can come to you and it's what you choose to do with it and how you choose to pass that on. And we spoke earlier on over at the, the studio about the importance of carrying messages through and what our roles are as individuals. For me, my role in this district is as the lead for hate crime. And not perpetrating hate crime, but working with people that are experiencing hate crime. And, and what we find important is, is putting those voices forward and trying to create processes and mechanisms that make it easier for people to report. We recognise that for some people, it's really hard to walk into a police station and say, this is what's happened to me. And when we heard from Riyadh, you know, about his experiences, actually, when they come here, when people come to this country and come to our city, and somebody's calling them names and that kind of thing, they think, well, actually, why bother reporting? Because actually there are worse things happening. Well, actually, it all starts somewhere. And I think for us, and at the Hate Crime Alliance, we try and make sure that we address it before it gets to that particular point. It's all our responsibilities to ensure that we report our hate crimes. It doesn't matter how trivial it may seem to you, but for that person that's sat at home, that's on their own, that actually is having to address this, that's feeling under siege in their own communities, then it really is important that we speak up. And actually, the mechanisms we employed was about not just it has to be you that experiences a hate crime. If you're witnessing it happening to somebody else, you can also report that. And what we have done is put a number of centres across the district to make life easy for you to be able to do that. We've also created uh, a web application which actually taking the information that people have, have, have presented us, we've taken that information and put it into a format that enables you, those of you with smartphones, to be able to report hate crime directly from your own smartphone. And very shortly you'll see that there'll be a, a huge launch program that will actually support you and support others to be able to, to, to make reporting hate crime a success. Our district has no place for hate. There is no place for hate. One of the speakers mentioned freedom of speech, and I think it is important that people are able to say what they feel and what they think. But actually, we also have to recognise the impact of that on others. And that's the issue, is recognising the impact that that has on others. And I think that notion of challenge is that thing about challenging people for what they're saying, for not who they are, not for who they are. I think a lot of the time what we see, certainly from a hate crime perspective, is people being challenged for who they are. So racially challenged, religiously challenged, you know, homophobically challenged. You know, these are all things that are totally unacceptable. And actually we all have a duty to eradicate them from our, from our society and from our lives. And we shouldn't tolerate this kind of negativity in our district. Our city will certainly become the city of culture. And we have until 2025 to get ourselves prepared for that. Right now, for me, this is a part of us preparing for that. This is a part of us making sure that when you come to this city, when you come to our town, there is no place for hate in our town. So I'd just like to finish by just thanking everybody for the contributions that you've actually made. And let's keep, keep the fight going and let's keep working towards supporting one another. Thank you.